this is how I start my warm up. I just start it. I'm kind of trying to get loose in the front court and I'm trying to focus in on the ball and get my reflexes going. I'm not trying to take real big hard swings. I just want to be able to juggle the ball in the front court. That develops a lot of the hands. It develops a lot of comfort with the ball. So I think that's a useful way to start and it's fun to do. And here the idea is just swing as slowly as possible and still hitting the ball. So I'm trying to have my mechanics generate power, not, you know, force in my body. So this is really, you know, this is a way to really practice getting good technique. Uh, a lot of other good players have mentioned just try to hit the ball as slow as you can, like hit it with 25% of your normal swing speed, and you'll be surprised how much power you can get out of it trying to actually slow your swing down. So a good way to kind of get comfortable and get loose and warm up your arm and your hips and your legs as well. So I pretty much just start taking it back. So I take it back from the from the service line to about the short line. And then eventually I'm pretty deep in the court, like right here. And now I start turning up my swing speed a little bit. So this is more like how I'm gonna actually hit in the game. Here's another drill and something I'm starting to incorporate in my warm-up. Basically starting facing the front wall and then I'll turn and swing. So this, the idea behind this is this is how you actually are in a rally. You start facing the front wall and then you turn and swing. So I want to make that motion really routine and easy. So I incorporated it into my warm-up routine. So with this, yeah, I just want to seem... I want to be comfortable and I want to make those steps real efficient. So we're going to start with a, a small step with the right foot, turn, and as I'm turning, bring the racket up into a ready position. So a tendency that a lot of players have, and, I, and of course I had, is to turn and then get your racket up and then swing. But this looks I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm keeping my elbow up even as I, I even as I drop the ball really so early racket prep really important turn racket up it's all one comfortable motion step forward into the swing okay here's a good one so again we're trying to simulate what it's like to actually hit in a game. So I'm hitting the ball softly off the front wall and then I'm stepping into it and taking a shot. So from an open stance, hit the ball softly into the front wall, then you have to get get your feet parallel to the side wall and shoot. So this is a step ahead of that last drill that we talked about where I'm just drop hitting, starting from an open stance and turning and drop hitting. Now this is a little bit more of a practical game-like situation where I'm following the ball, turning, and taking a swing. So that's my warm-up routine for my forehand. Uh, as you notice, I didn't hit any ceiling balls. Um, ceiling balls are important. I think we should practice ceiling balls, but my warm-up is just what I'm trying to work on at a given moment in my game. So whatever you put into your warm up, you're definitely gonna get good at and you're gonna get comfortable with because you're doing it on a routine basis. So if you are struggling with your backhand, you should definitely you know start your warm ups with your backhand, not your forehand, and make sure that you're really working on your backhand and your warm up routine will guarantee to get your backhand better. Same thing with ceiling balls. If you're weak on ceiling balls and you want to work on that aspect of your game, make that the first thing that you warm up in your warm-up routine. 
So that's some general warm up strategy is the way you take what it is that you want to work on in your game and you find a way to incorporate it into your drills and into your warm up practice and it will definitely make you better. So it's fun. It's a little bit strategic. You know, warming up, choosing what to warm up on is strategic because you're working on a certain aspect of your game and you're trying to pick the things that are going to make you the best player uh, as, as soon as possible. So thanks for watching and I'll have the backhand video coming up soon.